Hello. So it's that day, you know, the day that you clean up that unruly access database that you have. So you get ready to delete some queries, maybe some forms, get rid of a few reports that you don't need, maybe even a table. But wouldn't it be great to know if those things are connected to other things in the database? Well, there is a tool that allows you to do that and it's called object dependencies. So before you delete that table, Give me a couple of minutes and let's find out if it's linked to anything by using the object dependencies tool in Microsoft Access. So if we take a look at our sample database here, you'll notice over to the left that this database contains several objects, tables, queries, forms, and reports, and even a macro. So I may want to delete some of this information. Maybe I'm not really using the table or I've inherited this database and it just seems to have a lot of extra objects in it. So before I delete these objects, I can test to see if they are connected to other objects in the database by selecting an object and then moving to the database tools tab and then immediately down to object dependencies. If I click the object dependencies command button, then a box will open up on the right that now shows everything that that table is connected to. So you'll notice at the top it says the name of the table, the objects that depend on me, and then also objects that I depend on. If I switch tables, for example, and move to the main table, you'll notice that the words don't change, but if I choose the refresh button, it will now look at that table and all the things that are dependent on that table. And you'll notice immediately that this table is connected to the employee hours table, probably by a relationship, and then is also being used in the records by date, name, and state queries, as well as the form that I have open right now. If I were to delete that table, then all of those objects would immediately error and it would probably stop working. Now, you can also go the opposite direction and look at things that, it, that the object is dependent on. So if I move to the employee's main form and then move over to our object dependencies and click refresh, now it shows the main form and that there are no objects that depend on the form, as you might imagine. But if I choose the box below it that says objects that I depend on, now it shows that the form is dependent on the employee hours table and uh, no queries and no reports. This is really useful when you are trying to streamline databases, remove use, useless objects, and in particular, reports. So if I move to our employee main report, move back over one more time and click the refresh button, it will now show all the objects that that report depends on and the report depends on the report records by name query. So if I were to delete that query, then the object or the employee's main report will error and probably not open at all. So it's a great way to sort of test out your database and don't forget, you just move to the database tools tab, choose object dependencies, and just click refresh. And that's the object dependencies tool in Microsoft Access. I hope that it saves you a lot of time, especially if you have inherited a database and it keeps you from deleting objects that you may have needed. So thanks for joining me and I'm Wayne.